What up you guys? My name is Aline, they call me Lean, and welcome to my channel. So for today's video, I am here with another First Foundation Thoughts. And the foundation that I will be trying out for this video today is the brand new L'Oreal Paris Infallible Foundation. And I am in the shade 475 Sun Beige. Um, I'm really, really excited because one, it's a drugstore brand and, um, you know, any drugstore makeup, you know, I'm really down to try. But if you guys want to see how, you know, this foundation worked out with me, then I guess we can dive right into the video. Hey you guys, so you guys already know I did my brows and prepped my face. And I pretty much use the same products whenever I'm doing my brows and um, prepping my face. However, um, since right now my skin is still not in the best condition, um, I'm breaking out and I'm also like struggling a lot with eczema here. So I need to put as much much moisture as possible so for this winter season I am going back to using the Smashbox Pro Photo Finish Primerizer it's a primer and moisturizer in one um, this is really great especially if you have dry skin um, I really do like this and this does really help um, with my makeup like sticking on my face for a long period of time without flaking too much and also since I still have like an oily nose I don't have the actual one but this is a little tester um, I'm currently using the Tatcha the silk um, canvas primer on my nose and I absolutely love it um, I'm really considering uh, buying the full size even though it is a lot like I think it's about $65 but honestly a little goes a long way like I have been using this tester I think I got it probably around October so it's still working well around my nose but yeah that's just a heads up on like what I've been using to prime my face at the moment but in the meantime today you guys already know I'm here with another first foundation thoughts and the foundation I will be trying out today is the brand new L'Oreal Paris infallible foundation and I've actually had this for probably around a month now um, I just had it sitting on my you know dresser and I just really haven't had the time to sit down and really film a video so um, I figured I'm not gonna lie even today even though today anyways um I didn't really plan to film anything I kind of had like some last minute time or like last minute plans that kind of got like canceled so I decided to film this and I'm really really excited because I haven't really sat down to really film anything in a while but in the meantime um this is the foundation that I'll be trying out and the shade that I am currently well, hopefully, I'm currently is um, Sun Beige 475. I used to use the Pro Matte, and I've used the Pro Glow before, and I was Sun Beige on that, so I'm crossing fingers that this is my shade. And I did purchase this online. I actually bought this on Amazon. However, um, I do know I stopped by CVS earlier today, and they actually carry this foundation today. Also, they do carry this on Ulta.com, and of course I bought this on Amazon Prime in case you guys were wondering. But anyways, to start it off, this is the foundation. Obviously, it claims that it is a up to 24 hour breathable texture bar and a respirable like wear. And it has the number of the shade, but I'm not going to be wearing this for 24 hours. In fact, it is really late. It's like 4.16 at the moment, and obviously I haven't even applied it in my face. But um, I'm going to try my best to wear this for as long as I can, hopefully for at least 7 to 8 hours. It really just depends on how I feel. But in the meantime, over here, obviously, this is the packaging of it. It has like a plastic light container. It has like a red to black. And I think it's like, you know, kind of nice with that little hint of red to kind of give that signature of the um, infallible collection because I do know the infallible pro matte has that little red like color to kind of like list the pro matte and then um, on the label says up to 24 hour fresh wear and it says on the bottom here it has sunscreen and it's a broad spectrum SPF 25 which I think that's pretty neat considering that um, I feel like a lot of foundations need to step it up with the SPF game I know some people feel like Oh, they don't want to get that white cast but honestly if you wear makeup every single day I think it's really helpful to have SPF in your makeup especially if you wear makeup every single day but that's what I think anyways um, moving forward this has 1.0 fluid ounces and then the back here it actually has like a label of drug facts and if you didn't know usually 
any kind of product that contains like a sunscreen will have these drug fats just to let you know like the ingredients that they use because you know that's really important and then in here it pretty much lists like I guess obviously the like the ingredients obviously um, also it kind of lists like the finish which this is supposed to have a natural finish um, it has a medium coverage and it's supposed to be air light so air light they kind of is a ringer for me I'm hoping it can give me some coverage if not then whatever we're gonna do what we're gonna do and then over here from this label it says more drug facts but in the meantime yeah this is what it is and I'm gonna open it really quick and ooh, that opened easily and as you can see here look at this pump oh my god you guys already know how I love well how much I love pumps on a packaging I feel like it would it's really convenient especially if you're a person that pretty much just wanna you know pump and go instead of you pouring it and I do love the fact that like I feel like L'Oreal like out of like even though I feel like a lot of drugstore companies are stepping up their game L'Oreal is always on point like I feel like they're always in with the trend like they or even more on top of the trend but yeah I'm really excited to try this hopefully this is my shade but in the meantime though really quick I'm actually gonna go on my phone to show you some facts about this foundation if you guys didn't know so obviously this is the L'Oreal Infallible Fresh Wear 24 hour foundation um, and this actually retails for $14.99 which I feel like now that's like an average price of a drugstore it is almost like pretty much I feel like even though it's like 15 I always feel like it's 20 because I live in California and tax here is well I live in California and then I live in Southern California in Los Angeles County so the tax is almost like 10% so that's a lot um, however the good thing about this foundation as I'm looking up the information on Ulta.com by the way they have 30 shades which I think is really great again I feel like other than Lorian Lori L I'm sorry being on top of like being with the trend and having you know getting in with like what's like really really popular and what people are really demanding for I would say that L'Oreal is one of the most inclusive drugstore brands out there and I mean there's 30 shades and even though I'm crossing fingers this is my shade if not I guess we're gonna work with it um they still have a good amount of colors to work with um and yeah again I'm really really excited to try this out um, if it doesn't work out, I'm going to use tons of bronzer, but in the meantime, I guess now we can try this foundation out. So, I'm going to just use this. Ooh, this. As you can see right here, it's a very, very liquidy foundation, so just be careful. And what I'm going to do is actually apply dots to my face. And then I'm going to use a beauty sponge. It is a bit dirty, but this is the one from e.l.f. And um, I'm going to just lightly pat this all over my face. And this is, this, yeah, this is kind of light for me. I kind of, I kind of did expect that. Like, I kind of did expect this to be light because I realized, like, I don't know, like, I bought this online. And... I don't know I figured I'd get my shade right but I mean it's not too bad right like actually it looks kind of bad because my skin is way more darker than my face but I'm gonna apply some bronzer for that but so far um the application is pretty good I mean obviously I don't dab my beauty sponge by the way but it does blend really really nice I will say right off the bat that this is a very this is a sheer coverage, so don't expect this to be like a full coverage foundation. Also, by as I'm applying, I could definitely smell the SPF in this. So, if you are looking for like a new foundation with an SPF, this is definitely something maybe you want to look into. Again, oh my god, I'm this is so light. Yikes. And I bought this on Amazon. Hopefully, I don't know if I could return this. If not, it's it's all good. But, um, yeah. So far, 
It does have a sheer coverage. I can see from my face here, as you can see, you can still see my obviously really dark acne spots. Um, it's definitely a foundation that you would have to set because by the consistency of this, this does have a, it actually feels nice. It feels like a very light foundation, like it's not heavy at all. It feels more, I would say like you have moisturizer on. But now obviously I'm on my second layer and now I can, I see like a medium coverage. So this is definitely, even though it's light, it's something you can definitely build because obviously you could tell it's almost covered my really dark mole here. So even though this is more on the lighter side, this definitely can be buildable for your skin. And I think so far, yeah, my face looks from on the camera, I feel like it looks fine, but in person, I can definitely see the white cast. And this is where I can see why some people don't really like sunscreen because sunscreen obviously can give you a white cast, but again, I don't really mind it if it's protecting your skin, but now, as you can see, this is the third layer. It You can still see a little of my acne spots, but it's not too bad. So this is three layers, and I think that's pretty good coverage for um, a lightweight, kind of almost sheer foundation. So now, um, I applied three layers and I'm going to finish the rest of my makeup off camera and then I'll show you guys the final look. So you guys, this is pretty much my completed look um, for this foundation. Um, pretty much all I did was add some extra concealer on any places where I needed extra coverage. I also used a lighter concealer under my eyes to brighten it up. I obviously baked everything and um i put bronzer blush and highlighter and then i have a simple um eye look pretty much i just curled my lashes and put on mascara because one i have eczema around my eyes and i don't want to put too much and i am using a lip gloss today i'm using the ColourPop ultra glossy lip and i actually really really like it it kind of reminds me of the fancy beauty however i feel like i don't know something about this I just really really like um, but yeah this is the completed look and now um, I guess what I'm pretty much gonna do is document throughout the day I'm gonna try to wear this for as long as possible um, it is 12:48 right now so it's actually much more later than my usual like time where I you know work with these first foundation thoughts but yeah this is the final look and in the meantime let's see how this foundation works out so you guys, it is about 12.50 round right now and I'm here for my first check-in for this foundation today. And here's a close-up of what everything looks like so far. And don't mind the water, I just drink some water because I was literally coughing up a storm for no apparent reason. But in the meantime, this is how my face looks like so far. So far, I do like the wear of this foundation. Um, again, I did tell you guys I have some eczema around my eyes, so you see that crease, so don't mind that. Also, it is drier around here, but surprisingly, it grasps really well, even though, you know, it's really dry here. And keep in mind, right now, I am really struggling with really, really dry skin. My nose is still oily, so I have a mix of, well, I definitely have combo skin, so it's kind of normal here, oily here, dry around here, so... So far, everything's good to go. Everything's looking nice. But yeah, in the meantime, I am going to go clean up and run some errands and then update you guys in a little bit. Hey you guys, so it is 4.35 right now and I'm here with a mid update on my current face situation. So, so far, as you can see, everything pretty good. Um, I haven't reapplied or blotted my face or anything. Um, however, some of the makeup has um, smudged off because I wore glasses, but it's not too bad. It doesn't really mark up too much at all. But um, 
for all my I guess you could say different parts of my face as you can see even though yes the makeup kind of came off here the nose isn't really oiling up or anything like that that's just highlight just a FYI also the dry spots it other than my cracking it hasn't really like I feel like the foundation even though my skin is currently dry it's not like it sucked in to where like it looks so obvious if that makes any sense and obviously my cheek area my bronzer my blush and my highlighter still on so yeah so far makeup's looking good and this is me like I have been out and about running errands I've been going home and back but everything's looking good and yeah I think the only thing about this is the scent um, I did kind of smell like somewhat of a fragrance like when the kind of like the air conditioning on my face blew in my, in my car um, but it's not like I would say like Huda Beauty's foundation where you can pretty much smell the fragrance throughout the day so that's just a little heads up for anyone that doesn't really like scents like I personally don't really like scents on my foundations at all but this one's like okay but other than that it's pretty good hey guys so I am now here for my last and final update for this foundation and by the looks of it it's not looking cute I'm sorry I'm looking like a hot mess um, after my last update I took a nap I fell asleep and um, now I've been just doing errands and my makeup is like it's there and then it's not but I'm looking like a hot mess but anyways um just to show you guys how my face is looking like um, as you can see the foundation it's weird that it looked like it looks like the foundation is starting to fade but my bronzer a little bit of my blush and my highlighter is still there which is kind of interesting um, as you can see the makeup is still on my nose even though it's oily it's still there like it's just sitting there um, as you can see around my eyes the makeup is starting to fade and this is where I have my eczema over here it's starting to fade as well so yeah my forehead also obviously a little bit of this is faded but yeah this is how my face is looking like I'm looking like a hot mess but I will say this um, it is a nice foundation like I don't completely hate it like I've had it on since technically since 12 30 and then now it's 9 40 so i've had it for about eight hours which is isn't too bad but i guess just a little heads up if you're a person that's oily you can wear this but i guess like after a certain hourly mark depending on how oily you are i would blot also if you're dry maybe i would kind of watch out with this foundation because obviously my dry you know area is like the makeup is pretty much faded as for normal skin you could also work with this as well but i don't think this is a 24 hour foundation at all like i don't know it's looking like a hot mess like i look like a hot mess but again I don't completely hate it because like when I did my last update, it still looked pretty good. But this, now I'm on my eight hour mark technically, mm -mm, not something I would wear. Or maybe I could try this again, maybe with a different primer or maybe do my usual like blot and then like add some powder just to touch up. But yeah, this is pretty much my face with no touch up. So yeah, again, Keep in mind, if you have dry skin, I don't know if this foundation would be good for you guys, but yeah, I don't completely hate it, but I definitely might have to redo this again. So I hope you guys enjoyed my um, first foundation thoughts on the L'Oreal Paris Infallible um, Foundation. If you guys like this video, don't forget to give it a thumbs up, leave some love down below, and of course, don't forget to subscribe and click that notification button. I upload videos every single week, and 
many of my videos are pretty random. I can do things from makeup related, beauty related, skincare related, music, and even food. And maybe on the occasion if I have a time, you know, random vlog. Um, and also, I do have social media. I have a Twitter, Instagram, Snapchat, but I, uh, I am on, I'm sorry, my Instagram more. If you guys follow want to follow me, my social media handles are all linked to that. And just to FYI, this year I am starting off a song of the day project where I post a song every single day on my Insta story. So go check that out. But yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I hope you guys enjoyed my thoughts on this foundation. And until next time, sorry I had to cut that really quick. I was coughing up a storm, but anyways, I hope you guys did enjoy this. And I hope you guys enjoyed my thoughts on this foundation. And if you guys want to see more, then of course don't forget to subscribe. And thank you guys again for stopping by. And until next time, it's been real and I'll see you soon. Bye!